IoT or the Internet of Things? How are companies using IoT today? And how does IoT help businesses to improve? Phil Skipper, he's the head of strategy from Vodafone Business IoT, is here to talk about the findings of their new IoT spotlight research they did recently. Phil, welcome and a pleasure to have you on our show. Thank you for having me. You released interesting IoT research and the IoT Spotlight report. Can you explain more about it and what are the key findings? Of course, the IoT Spotlight is a survey we do every every year, and we interview about one thousand six hundred and forty businesses globally, and we ask them a range of questions around what they're doing with IoT and their, how they're using the capability that they're building with IoT. And this year, um, that's coincided with many countries being in the middle of the COVID pandemic, which has thrown up some really interesting insights. So the IoT Spotlight is a very comprehensive view of how the market is seeing IoT, but more importantly, how IoT is helping them on their digitalization journey. Yeah, we're still in the midst of the pandemic. Can you share your findings? What has been the impact for companies with regards to IoT adoption? Yeah, and I think it's been very much a a mixed bag. Some organisations have been quite badly affected. Others have actually come off a lot better. And one of the things that we've discovered through this piece of research is that those companies which have adopted IoT early seem to have fared considerably better. And in terms of executing projects, what we've seen is that a large number have actually accelerated their projects. So 77% of those businesses that we interviewed have said they would actually accelerated the pace of IoT projects. And that's because 84% said IoT has really helped them become a more secure business. It's helped them with business continuity. So we're seeing this really interesting split. Those companies that have had IoT have seen how it's enabled them to continue their operational process. Um, And they seem to have fared, as I said earlier, better than those that haven't. And IoT is an important technology, but there there are other emerging technologies. Think about data analytics. Can you explain more about this relation between these two technologies and also elaborate on the IoT mindset that you refer to in the research? Yes, and I think this was the second part that came out from, from the research, which is not whether people are using IoT, it's how they're using it in different ways. And interestingly enough, 84% of the people we interviewed have actually said that having IoT has actually helped them create new products and services. But even more specific is 86% said it's actually changed the way they view the value of data. So companies have now recognized that IoT gives them operational improvement right now, but also it generates a really valuable data set on which they can actually base their strategic decision making. And interesting enough, 78% of people have said, actually, it's data has become a strategic asset for them. And I think one wrinkle within the whole COVID thing as well is that IoT is a great way of generating data about the current situation very quickly. And we're seeing lots of companies now using that data to help them understand what the new normal will look for them and help them prepare and become a future ready business by having much more current and relevant insights into how their business is performing, but more importantly, how their markets are changing. Yeah, there are many possibilities and opportunities for businesses, but can you share some practical examples? Yes, in in the spotlight, we've got a number of use cases and I think I'd like to bring two up. One is the lighting company and they've used IoT to actually do two things. One is to put sensors in their lighting equipment so they can better manage energy. But secondly, they've been able to offer their lighting as a service. So they're able to help customers understand when they need to change bulbs or even provide that service themselves. And then I think the second one is how can you use the data to generate even more value about how you operate? And with COVID, there's now a lot of focus on how do you make sure people are socially distancing in the workplace and keeping things clean and sanitized? And with IoT, of course, you can actually understand 
where people are moving through the office, how many people are, are in the office. And by using that data, it really enables you to plan your occupancy and keep your people as safe as you possibly can in the workplace. So there are two really interesting examples about how it can create new revenue streams, but how you can use the data to safeguard your people by having more insight into what's happening, for instance, in your building. Great cases and great examples. But can you explain more about the future? What's your view on the future of IoT? Yes, I think the future of IoT is, is, is very good. I think we're going to see it get embedded more and more in companies' processes as they become digital businesses. And if you take a few examples of that, there's being able to optimize your, your processes. It's being able to understand more about how to use the data, extend your customer experience. But also, it's you know, there's some financial returns as well. And 87% of the companies we interviewed are now saying IoT is critical for their future success. And 82% are saying they've actually seen a rise in revenue. So in terms of understanding the business, driving efficiency in the business, and actually creating new products and revenue streams, IoT is really at the center of this new digital business. And one of the key numbers that came out here was 70% of those businesses have said that companies that don't adopt IoT are likely to fall behind in the next five years. Phil, thanks a lot for sharing your insights on this IoT Spotlight report. Very interesting and can't wait to read the full report. And for the audience, thank you for watching and see you next time.